Hello, welcome back to CG Blend. Today we'll show you how to use paper prototyping to aid in creating user interfaces for whatever that would be. In this case, we're going to create a user interface for an app for an iPhone or Google phone, which is called Color Mood Designer. And you can actually find it and look how it actually works in real life. But here we're going to show you a paper prototype of what you probably need to do before you even start the developing process to avoid certain uh, mess ups in, in, in development stage. So right now we have this page here with um, an image of a cell phone, it's just a square, we don't need to really go elaborate on how it looks like. So we're gonna go in and turn on the cell phone. By that button we turned on the cell phone, then the user is gonna see this following screen. Uh, this screen has uh, choice of applications and you can see doubles just because we're developing them different versions so let's say the user clicks on a color mode designer button now that is, screen is going to disappear and move on to the next screen which has the choices for the color modes and you will scroll through this uh, screen to see what kind of color modes you see and see what what, what you know what color you want to select and then you're going to choose, hey, I'm, I'm going to go with the tropical sunset and click on that one. Once you do that, that screen disappears and changes into the next screen. It uh, tells you it's tropical sunset color mode. We have different colors that we can scroll through. There are rows of three and we can choose a color combination by simply clicking on it. Once we clicked on that one, the screen goes away. The next screen pops up. That's what the user sees next. And here they have the colors, the RGB and CMYK values. All right. We also have the copy RGB and CMYK values, uh, which you can cut and paste. Okay. You can also have save images to photo album. All right. And then the uh, very important button there, send email, which is really useful if you're at a client meeting or something like that. You click send email and the next screen comes up. And you actually can choose to put your client's email address right in the to um, field right there where you see your at mail.com right now. And you can add your own address there, whoever you need. And you're going to have all that information sent to your client, which is very useful um, when they're selecting what color scheme they want for a website or user interface or logo and so forth. So click send and off it goes. Um, we're going to actually show you the actual app. So here it is. Here's the actual iPod or iPhone app. We'll make sure that you can see that. Here's the app. We're going to click on that. And we have the scrollable color choices here. Now we're going to go in and select the tropical sunset here. All right, we have uh, color combinations that we can go with. If we don't like that one, by the way, you can go back, choose another one, let's say, right? And then you choose which color combination you want to go with. Let's say we would like to select that one. And here you have the color combination, which you still can go back. That's useful that you can always go back and change your mind if you need to. There's your RGB and CMYK values. Here's your copy RGB and CMYK values, and here's your um, save image to iPhone. And then also you have send email, and once you select that, you can actually enter your email and click send. So that's how it works. Uh, check it out, ask us questions, uh, we'll post more videos. Thank you very much.